first at noon, Miami-Dade Superintendent Alberto Cavallo is responding to an investigation into a donation made to the school district's foundation. Good afternoon, I'm Francis Wang. The K-12 online learning company gave nearly $1.6 million to the Foundation for New Education Initiatives. It was founded and is run by Superintendent Carvalho. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live in Miami with his reaction. Joan. Good afternoon, Francis. Well, it is rare that Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho finds himself in the middle of very unflattering controversy, but that is exactly what has been happening for the past few days. But at an appearance at the school this morning, the superintendent is taking this controversy head on, insisting he has done nothing wrong. Miami-Dade Superintendent Alberto Carvalho passing out backpacks Friday at Holmes Elementary, a public school with a comeback story. He's talking publicly about a controversial donation to the Education Foundation he chairs. Uh, this is one of those schools where no one would ever expect it would succeed, and it has for the better part than 12 years. Uh, 12 years where we have eliminated failure in Miami-Dade. Out of those 12 years, the last four, we have celebrated zero F schools. And out of those 12 years, the last three, this school system, this great school system of ours, is rated an A. That is why, at a personal level, certainly I must say that some of the recent headlines are hurtful. Why wouldn't they be? The teacher, it's been a nightmare. The troubled Miami-Dade virtual K-12 platform that failed and was hacked was ditched a week ago. But one thing stayed, the donation the for-profit education company made to teachers through the superintendent's foundation. Now that is being investigated. In a memo sent to school board members, the inspector general advises we will begin a review of the transfer of approximately $1.57 billion from K-12 to the Foundation for New Education Initiatives. I'm here to tell you that we welcome the scrutiny of any good deed. Why shouldn't we? Particularly a good deed, a gift, an investment, a recognition in the hardest working individuals anywhere in the country, our teachers. And we got a response from K-12, the company that gave that donation, and they said they were under a tight deadline, and this was meant as a thank you to a $100 donation to teachers for every teacher who was able to bring their virtual classrooms online by the Sunday night deadline. So once more, this was meant to be a $100 gift card that was going to all the teachers in the district. So far, no teacher has received any money at this point. And while this investigation continues, this money is on hold. Reporting in Liberty City, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.